Hi everyone, welcome back to Computing Millions. So today we're going to be going over something that will actually generate you money, which are stocks. Stocks are complicated and there's a lot of information on them and there's thousands and thousands of companies on a bunch of different stock exchanges. So what we're going to be doing today is creating a, we're going to create a script in Python that will scrape data off of Google Finance and narrow down the list of companies to a small list. I use this script personally to um, find potential companies that I can invest in and a lot of the companies that I am invested in I found with this script. So when uh, when I typically look at a stock I'm looking for a high dividend yielding stock that has a low payout ratio and a low P, uh, price to earnings ratio so it's an undervalued company with a lot of space to grow but they do have high dividend rates and they consistently pay out dividends so um, let's write this down so number one we're going to be looking at yield we want a yield that it's going to be greater than four percent just because four percent is just a nice number it's a high yield and it still has a lot of room to grow uh, two we're going to be looking at the uh, earnings per share we just want this to be greater than zero because we don't want a negative earnings or something like that. That means that the company is not doing well with each share that you have that you're buying. Um, three, we're going to be looking at the uh, price to earnings ratio, and we want that to be generally under 25. That's just a good number, good rule of thumb, because companies are normally around 20 to 25 and those companies are uh, normally worth what they are or slightly undervalued anything more than 25 is not something that you really want to invest in because it's overpriced um, the fourth thing we're going to be looking at is the payout ratio uh, the payout ratio is how much of the dividends is the company paying out relative to the earnings so you want a payout ratio that's generally less than a hundred um, that's like maximum because any more if they're doing 110 that means that they're paying out more than they're earning which is not bad, uh, not a really good thing but I generally like it under uh, 90 and the fifth thing that you can look at is the market cap um, generally, when you look at the market cap, you're looking at the size of the company. So anything that's like around three under 300 million, that's a really, really small company. Um, I like to look at companies that are generally greater than $2 billion. They have a market cap that's greater than $2 billion because I know that that's a, a big company, but they're not at their peak. They're not like Amazon or Google that are really, really big and they're dominating a market and have no real room to grow. These are smaller companies that are just getting started and they have a lot of potential growth and they have a good investment value. So now we're going to be looking at how it actually works and later on we'll go into the actual details of the script. So uh, we're taking in a list of tickers and if you look at it, they're all on the Toronto Stock Exchange just because I'm looking at the uh, TSX um, and all you have to do is press play and it'll start downloading so it's one out of 1505 so we'll let this run and we will see the results alright so we're back it took quite a while but if you look um, we have 24 results all going based on our criteria um, so payout ratio that's less than 100 um, P ratio that's greater than 10 but less than 25, earnings per, per share that's greater than 0, and a dividend yield that's greater than 4. And I think there's also a market cap. Yeah, we're looking at the market cap. So it's only companies that are worth um, 1 billion or more. So if you look, um, we have companies like TELUS, uh, Power Financial Corp right there we have a bunch of companies that fit our criteria and if you look in my web browser 
all of these companies have been open. So if you wanted to look at TELUS, you can look and you can see all the stats. You can put uh, go to all, see that they have a constant dividend rate. Um, you can look at how much they've been increasing their dividend over the years. And then you can go to financials. Um, you can look at their total revenue, their assets, and there's a bunch of information that you can look at on uh, Google Finance after. Um, so yeah, so next video we're going to be looking into uh, data scraping, so how we actually get the data off of Google Finance. And then the third video, we're just going to review the script, and I'll have the link to it in the description so you guys can download it. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get other videos.